The San Francisco 49ers unleashed a brand new trick play against the Jets. Unfortunately, didn't have quite the success that maybe it had in practice when they were implementing it. I'm going to break down the play itself, but first, let's take a listen to Brock Purdy explain. So this is a clip from training camp because obviously this play went down and he was asked about it by reporters. And this is where the infamous Purr Dog play kind of originated. And this is the play that they actually ran in the game. But again, let's listen to Brock kind of describe it and let's see how it looked in real time right after that. When Debo threw you the ball, describe that play and where that come from? Yeah, uh, just we're trying out some trick plays and stuff here and there just to keep our defense honest with some looks. So it was fun to be able to, you know, hand the ball off, toss it to Debo, and then I'm out around on the edge and I just told Debo, give me a shot. Like, don't overthrow me, don't underthrow me, just give me a shot, bro. And so uh, he did. And I think I would have scored on it, but we'll see on film. Is there a name for it? Yeah. Have, has anyone told you guys? No. No? It's Purr Dog. Purr -dog? Yeah. 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 Dog. Yeah. It's called Purr Dog. Yeah. Purr yeah. Dog. Purr Dog. Yeah. I love hearing Purdy talk about the name. He was so excited to talk about Purr Dog, the name of the play. But regardless of all that, let's hop into the actual breakdown of the play because, as you guys know, this was the it, – it's not a double end around. It kind of feels like a double end around, but it's it's a handoff to end around. So it starts off getting the ball into Jordan Mason's hands, and then he's going to somehow get this ball to Debo, as you can see. There's a defender right there. This was that close away from being a disastrous fumble. But you get it to Debo Samuel, and he's also met right away with a ton of defenders. Play gets called dead. It's watching Brock Purdy on the play. He's like... I like it because he's like running at an angle that would suggest he might be trying to block Reed, former 49er DJ Reed, and then he cuts it up field and he's got a step. He's got two steps on DJ Reed, but unfortunately because of the instant pressure, uh, Debo can't set up to throw this pass, but boy, would I have loved to see that get uncorked and give Purdy a chance. If you look at Purdy, he's throwing his hand up like I'm open. Hit me. I need it. I want it. Honestly, would have loved to see Debo shake this reset and just uncork it for the end zone. I think that's that would have been even better to watch Debo shake two defenders, then throw it and giving Purdy a chance. But again, it's that's a the ball's got to travel about 40 yards through the air. It, it's a challenge, right, to be able – DJ Reed can eat up a lot of ground pretty quickly. So probably the smart move to tuck it and try to get whatever you can. But, boy, would I have loved to see – look, you see Purdy in that top corner. Look at him flip his head around. Instantly whips that header. He wants the ball. He's expecting the ball. And with how – uh, Debo is holding the ball. You can tell he's getting ready to uncork that thing. So this is the per dog play that we heard about from the summer. They unleashed it in week one against the Jets. But as you can see, uh, just wasn't able to get a clean enough look on it. Um, it did seem like there was going to be a chance, but that backside defensive end 95 was able to make sure that that play wasn't going to happen. I believe that's Quinn and Williams. So what could have been, what could have been the greatest play in the history of all of life? Uh, Brock Purdy catching a 30 plus yard pass from Debo Samuel for a touchdown on Monday night football would have been amazing. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't able to happen. I wonder if we are going to, get this play again uh, i think back to the trent williams play i think it was 2021 against the jags where kyle tried to dial up a pass to trent williams for a touchdown in the red zone 
uh, didn't work, but we've also never seen that play since. So I'm curious, is this play going to get the same treatment? Is it going to be locked and thrown into the vaults never to be seen again or, or, or what? Because I would have to imagine uh, teams, teams are going to be on the lookout now for whenever they see Brock Purdy release <laughs> uh, into the open field. Uh, it would be interesting, though, to see how they this is handled again, but with not it being a design pass and they just have Debo run it with Brock kind of being a lead blocker. So um, I don't know. I thought it was I was I was watching the tape this morning. I was like, wait a second, because I wasn't at that particular practice where they ran it. So I don't I didn't see it. I've seen them run this type of play before, but not in a pass. And so I was even joking about it. I think last week, if they were to run this play to throw it to to uh, Brock in this scenario, and that's exactly what they were going to do. And it just didn't come to fruition. But man, Brock, Brock had a step. He had he had he had spacing. He had the whole end zone back corner open to him. He could have got it done. Didn't do it. Would have loved to see it oh, next time. Next time. I hope I hope this one doesn't go in the bolts, though, because I definitely want to see Brock Purdy score a touchdown pass. I think that would be something that would be very entertaining. So, Kyle, if you're watching, please try that again. Try it again maybe like eight to ten weeks from now. Give it some time. Let the season get underway. Uh, let it kind of cool down a little bit. And I just unleash it against someone unsuspecting. Maybe not a former coach uh, that has former player. Like just maybe maybe so, uh, someone else. I don't know. I, but I would love to see it. Would you love to see this play again? Did you think that was a good play? What did you think about Per Dog? Should we see more Per Dog or... Should we just put that one in the bolts? Don't risk injury. Don't risk Brock getting lit up. Don't, don't, don't risk it is basically it. Or are you no risk it, no biscuit? Two theories in play, and I'm curious to see which one you would prefer. I prefer to see this. I want to see it happen. I want to see Brock get a shot. I want to see him go up. You know Brock's an athlete. There's this period in every training camp where where Kyle Juszczyk becomes the quarterback and Brock w runs routes and he can he's got hands man you can see it and I think it's what they're doing is they're just killing time before waiting for uh, another position group to come over but it's become a a theme of training camp practices would love to see it would love to see Brock Purdy get loose as a wide receiver but again. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.